Hello and welcome back Star Citizens. A new patch has dropped along with a full wipe of all Alpha UEC. So first thing we need to do is to earn some space money. And as already said in my watch ship to buy next video, I need a decent money maker for that. In this video I will try out the Reclaimer and the Vulture to go for some salvaging, which was the best money making method back in the old days. So I go to the unverified tab for the salvage missions and see if I can find a hammerhead miss mission. And yes, there is one. Nerf version only pays us 30,000 alpha UAC. But let's see what we can earn with the materials. It is a bit of a pain to go through the atmosphere with a reclaimer, but I switch to navigation mode and slowly exit atmosphere. Arriving at the Hammerhead location. So as done before, we close up to f around 50 meters and we need to make sure that we are no longer in navigation mode. Otherwise the salvage arm will not work. Another thing I noticed is that for some reason you need to switch on power twice in the salvage seat. The rest is then exactly as before. Time to go to a safe location where I'm no longer trespassing and then we can go creating some boxes. At a first glance not much has changed here, but mind that the cargo elevators still need to be implemented 
and the physical extraction of the boxes from the vehicles is not yet uh, required. So expect more changes with the next patches. A new hammerhead mission is not yet available, and that will be the case later. Maybe the frequency of the appearance of the hammered missions is nerfed? Let me know in the comments if you think this is the case. Maybe it was just bad luck for me? Another thing is that before the patch, I was not able to pull boxes through the salvage cargo hold here, because simply the roof was too low. It seems they have changed that and it is possible now. This may be important in the future depending where the access to the exterior is in the future. Let's hope we will not be forced to get all the boxes into the elevator, but instead have some kind of exit or ramp here. Again, no hammer had mission, so I chose to return to Orison for selling.
Salvage materials can be sold at the Orison Municipal Services, which is the equivalent to admin offices in other locations. For the second, more valuable salvage material where you need to strip the hull, this material is sold at the TDD, the Trade and Development Divisions. We still have different entries here on the display. For those boxes we stored on the cargo grid, those we stored on the balcony and those we stored somewhere else. Also, the bug is not yet fixed that it shows a, a lower number of boxes here than we actually have. But don't worry, the amount of alpha UEC you will be credited is totally correct. Here I am currently selling goods for one hammerhead and one Andromeda. You can expect something like 350,000 alpha UEC for a hammerhead, including the mission itself. I also tried stripping the hull of an Andromeda here on the reclaimer. Playing solo is not optimal here, because the range of motion for the salvage arms or salvage beams or whatever is a bit limited. You need a pilot who is constantly correcting the relative position of the ships. I ended up salvaging just one SCU for testing out before I grew too impatient. Yes, this material has a real high selling price, but overall with a reclaimer you will make a decent amount of money still. I also tried correcting the position of the target myself by using the tractor beam. Note this is not a good idea, and sooner than you realize you will have crime stat for this. Clearing the crime stat is now easier than before, you can just go to the hangar and use one of the terminals. However, this will cost me 64,000 alpha UEC in this case, for a crime stat too. What about the Drake Vulture? Can you make some decent money with the Drake Vulture as well? Let's see. First thing I notice is that the ladder does not work anymore for me. I tried everywhere I could imagine the button to be, but could not find it. Please let me know in the comments if you know where to activate this ladder. I grew impatient again and took the long way. Arriving at the target location, I will do a compromise. I will try stripping the more valuable materials again, and then fill the rest of my cargo hold with the normal salvage materials. Stripping the hull is really time intensive, but I fear if you want to make some serious space money with a vulture, this is the way to go. You can switch to the gimbal mode by pressing the G button. That makes it a bit easier covering the whole surface of the target. By pressing G again, you will be able to steer the ship again.
Let's see how much we earned today. Selling the construction materials from one salvage mission only brings us a profit of around 15 or 16,000 alpha USC. We will see later that the recycled material composite from stripping the hull brings us nearly double this amount for just two SCU. A hammerhead's worth of construction materials will bring us a profit of around 330,000 alpha USC. Not as much as before, but still decent. At the Trade and Development Department, TDD, you can sell the RMC from stripping the hull, which has a selling price of 14,000 alpha UEC per SCU. I will definitely try salvaging with a full reclaimer crew. With both turrets crewed, the process should go fast enough to make a decent profit for all the crew. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and please leave me a like and a comment. And why do I have a gun sticking out of my back? Sometimes this game feels like an alpha version. More videos to come soon, see you in the verse.